Hi everybody, welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and in this video we're going to be learning the hard point rotations of the Garrison map and we're also going to be talking about some weapons you might want to use, some tactics and strategies as well. So, the first hard point that appears is kind of in the south of the map inside the big hangar area. Um, often the first hard point isn't worth defending or attacking. Um, you're better off getting yourself into a situation where you can take the um, the next uh, hard point was actually in the north, which is at the radar, which is over there. Now, in hard point, um, you gain points by being on the hard point or on the hill. Um, you don't get any more points for having more than one player on the hill. If there's an enemy, let's head over to the next one. If there's an enemy on the hard point as well, uh, scoring stops until you know one of you kills the other one. And it's the first team to 250 points to win. So in hard point, you get some incredibly close matches that, that are, uh, can be very, very exciting indeed. Um, and it's a very good game to play if you're not very good at shooting people. Because as long as you know the hard point rotations, which are always in a fixed order, you can have a massive advantage and be the most important player on your team, even though you're not killing anybody. So, in the description below this video, you'll see the, the order of the hardpoint rotations and a link to a document that has the hardpoint rotations for the other maps in Black Ops Cold War, or at least the ones that I've done already. So, our next uh, hardpoint is in the southeast of the map. Now, with 10 seconds to go on the current hardpoint, and did I say the hardpoint is left about a minute? You get the marker for the next one. So, they've taken a little bit of the skill away from hard... Whoop from hardpoint <laughs> watch out um, in the fact that players now get you know a clear indication of where the next hardpoint will be before it pops so what that means is really when you're when you're on a hardpoint and you're defending it you know you find your angle that you're going to be at you know pop your trophy system to stop grenades killing you, that sort of stuff you only really want to want to be defending it for about 30 seconds now, the next place um, is, where are we? We're down in the east, aren't we? So, southeast we're in. So the next one is the main floor, which is north inside. So, with with as soon as it gets to 30 seconds to go, point, here we go, which is here. Um, that way, you can get set up and ready to capture it before it pops. Also, there, there'll be times when you can't, simply cannot take a hard point. You know, it would be too difficult. Um, they'll be defending it too well. And in that situation, if when you're attacking a hard point, if there's 30 seconds or less to go, don't bother trying to attack that hard point. Move on to the next one. So, our next one is uh, in the west, in the main floor. So it's inside, which is slightly, uh, which is uh, up that end, isn't it? So. Let's uh, let's head up there, and this is kind of what I mean when I say that I don't think they've made the most of this map because this is a pretty big map. They could really stretch the hard points out for, to the east and the, and, the, and the west of the map, but they don't. They keep them fairly close together. You'll see when this next one pops, right where I am now. See how close it is to the the other hard point. Um, the advantage of this is that you don't end up situ in situations where it's very very difficult for for one team to capture a hard point because of the way that the spawns work so we're on this hard point we're going to hold it for 30 seconds but let's say we couldn't take it or let's say that we've got teammates who are actually on the hard point with us as i said earlier it doesn't make that you don't there's no advantage to having more than one person on the hard point unless the fact that you can defend it from more directions but what you could then decide to do is actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to get ahead and I'm going to um, get to the next hard point. And importantly, when you move to the next hard point, you're hopefully going to be moving to a quieter area of uh, the map, which means that your teammates will start to spawn around you, which is very, very important. So you're creating a safe spawn point for them um, where they can then run onto the next hard point. So see here also with this sort of position we're in a position to not only help with that hard point that was over there but immediately take this hard point now 
the players aren't going to spawn inside this room with you but they would probably be spawning in this location so that they can run on and that also really helps your teammates who don't know the, where the hard points are or what the rotations will be you're in effect putting them in the right place to start off with okay so we're, we're back at the beginning on the walkway south so the, what we'll do now is let's just go round the hard points um, so the next hard point is at the radars which is in the north outside which is kind of over there as defending hard points go you need to look at the minimap and see where the enemies are coming from so let's head to the radar which are ooh, let's go this way there we go this one you know you could hang around here can't you Okay, you look at the meter map in the top left hand corner, where are the enemies, where are they spawning from, where are your friendlies, you know, and you cover the other the other side. Okay, so after this one, the next hard point is in the southeast of the map by the generators. So we'll wait for 30 seconds to go, and then we'll go to the next one. Right. So now we want to be heading to the southeast part of the map. Which is this way. I think is. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit further. Here we go. It's down here. So again, we're ready to go, and we're going to defend this one. Now, where's the... Alright, there's the generator there. So, the next one, after the generators in southeast, is is the main floor. Um, again, it's in the north inside, so it's it's not that very far away. A lot of the hard points on the, in this map are very, very, very close together. So we'll wait for 30 seconds. So the next one I think is here. this hard point and then the next hard point is um, in the west uh, still inside so it's literally just over there really 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 close got the usual tr Treyarch barrels on corners so there's loads of head glitches for you to hide behind so 30 seconds to go Oops, here we go. So over here in the west. There we go. So here's the next one. See how close they are together. And then we're going to be back to the beginning in a minute where we go to the walkway on the south side of the map which is over there what I'd recommend you do is if you open up a bot match um, you can play hardpoint against recruit bots and run around and learn the rotations that way um, you can change it for each map um, and you can also go into offline mode which is what I'm in at the moment and just open up a map with no bots on it so you can just run around and get to know them so let's get up here and get ready for the final rotation. That tank hanging up, that must be a strong girder. Big M1 Abrams tank. And there we go, so that's the final hard point. So, now we've gone through all the hard points, let's talk a little bit about weapons. So as you can see, um, I'm running the MP5. Uh, it's a 
good option for hard point. Hard point, a lot of the time you're going to be fighting people in very close quarters, people who are rushing onto your hard point and taking them out, or you're attacking hard point. It's not too bad at medium range as well. Um, my secondary, I've got the RPG equipped for this case. Probably the, you know, unless until you've got it unlocked, the ordinary launch is an option. It's just giving you another three grenades that you can fire into a hard point to take it, or fire through doorways to, to take out attacking players. Especially with the other, the Sigma, you can take out enemy spy planes. Um, if somebody manages to bring in something like a gunship, that can really change the balance of a game in, in the late game, with the, especially with the hard points that are outside. You know, if there's a gunship hovering above it, it can make it very difficult to take out. So if you've got the Sigma, you can take it down. You can use RPGs to take down enemy helicopters, but it's, it's a lot more difficult <laughs> because it's unguided. As far as tacticals go, in this case I've got smoke grenades. There's an argument for smoke grenades, uh, stuns or flashbangs. The idea with the smoke grenade is that when you run a hard point, you can throw it at your feet, surround yourself in smoke and confuse the enemy as to where you are so that you can hold on to the hard point for longer, you know, get into close quarters and kill them. When you're uh, attacking a hard point, you can throw smoke grenades into the hard point again to confuse the enemies so you can run in and, and uh, make the hard point contested so they're not making any points and then hopefully shoot them. Uh, later on, when you've unlocked the thermal sights, you can then look through smoke and that can be fantastic because you can throw smoke um, onto a hard point and shoot people through the smoke on the hard point or even throw it towards where the enemies are coming from so they run through the smoke and you can shoot them that way um, but you know smokes tacticals smokes uh, flashbangs or stuns it's up to you lethals I've gone with a couple of frags you could use Semtex, you could use C4, there's a good argument for C4 because you could use it like mines, so you could put the C4 at the entrances to the hard point and trigger them when people are running in. Um, trophy system for my field upgrade, the trophy system is probably the most important thing to have in hard point because as people throw grenades in, uh, fire rockets in, call in cruise missiles the trophy system will shoot them down um, and it will protect you and enable you to hang on to that hard point for a lot longer if you're playing together with teammates a trophy system and a field mic would be a fantastic combination so you've got the trophy system defending and you've got the field mic to show you where people are running up unless of course they're running uh, running the ninja perk as far as perks go flat jacket to reduce incoming explosive damage um, ghosts, so you stay off the map when you're trying to stealth around the outside to get to the next hard point to set up those spawns without being seen. Now, your perk two, there's an argument for gearhead or quartermaster. What gearhead does is it enables your field um, upgrade, the trophy system in this case, to recharge faster, and you can carry two of them. So you've always got a trophy system ready to go. Th there is an argument for Quartermaster. Now what Quartermaster does um, is makes your tactical and your lethals recharge. So you'll always have smoke grenades, you'll always have frags. So if you're doing very well and you're the sort of player that doesn't get killed very often in hardpoint, often Quartermaster could be a better choice. Wildcard, Danger Cloaks, that gives me two tacticals, two, two frags. I think Danger Cloaks is pretty much a crutch perk in, uh, in uh, Black Ops Cold War at the moment. Kill streaks, uh, it's, it's up to you. I mean, I, I haven't got them equipped here, but when I'm playing for real, I would probably equip something like um, the UAV to show me where the enemies are. Um, and then probably the sentry gun is a good option because, again, you can plonk it down near a hard point or to, work to where the enemies are coming from and it will take them out. Sentry guns don't seem to be that strong in Black Ops. They tend to blow up fairly easily. And then maybe something like artillery or the cruise missile to be able to take out people when they're on a, on a hard point. So there we go. That is the hard point map rotations for Garrison. Hopefully you find that video useful. If you have, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I'll uh, see you again soon.